In the dim of night on August 24, 1572, the streets of Paris were awash with blood, marking one of the darkest chapters in French history. This was the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre, a catastrophic event that saw thousands of Huguenots, or the French Protestants, slaughtered in a brutal wave of religious violence. Behind this massacre was a web of intricate plots, political maneuvers, and conspiracies. Masterminded by one of history's most dishonest figures, Catherine de' Medici. Stay tuned as we unravel the events leading up to the massacre, the horrific night itself, and the aftermath that forever altered the course of France's history. France in the 16th century was a land torn apart by religious strife. The Protestant Reformation had taken root, and the Huguenots, led by figures like Admiral Gaspard de Coligny, were growing in number and influence. This rise threatened the Catholic establishment, leading to a series of conflicts known as the French Wars of Religion. At the heart of the Catholic resistance was the royal family, particularly Catherine de' Medici, the Queen Mother. Catherine, who was a ruthless politician, sought to maintain her family's grip on power amidst the chaos. She had married King Henry II of France, and their sons, Charles IX and Henry III, were kings during this turbulent period. In a bid to quell the religious tension, Catherine orchestrated the marriage of her Catholic daughter, Marguerite de Valois, to the Protestant leader, Henry of Navarre, who later became Henry IV of France. This union was intended to symbolize a new era of peace and reconciliation between Catholics and Protestants. On August 18, 1572, there was a mass celebration in Paris. Nobles from both religious factions gathered for the wedding, and for a brief moment, it seemed that unity was possible. However, beneath the surface, dark plans were afoot. Catherine and her close advisers saw the gathering of Huguenot leaders in Paris as an opportunity to strike a decisive blow against their enemies. Just days after the wedding, on August 22nd, an assassination attempt was made on Admiral Gaspard de Coligny. Though injured, Coligny survived, and the Huguenots were outraged. They demanded justice and retribution, increasing the already palpable tension in the city. Catherine de' Medici, fearing a Huguenot uprising and the potential loss of her influence over her son, King Charles IX, decided to act swiftly. She persuaded Charles that the Huguenots were plotting against him and that their leaders must be eliminated to prevent a rebellion. In the early hours of August 24, 1572, which was also St. Bartholomew's Day, bells tolled in Paris, signalling the start of the massacre. Under the cover of darkness, royal guards and Catholic nobles began their assault on Huguenot leaders. Admiral Coligny was one of the first victims, dragged from his bed and brutally murdered. The violence quickly spread throughout the city. Many Catholic citizens, inflamed by years of religious propaganda and animosity, joined the slaughter. Men, women and children were indiscriminately killed. The Seine River ran red with the blood of thousands of Huguenots who tried to flee the carnage. The horror did not end with the dawn. Over the next few days, the massacre spread to other parts of France, fueled by rumours and fear. In cities like Orléans, Lyon and Toulouse, similar atrocities were committed against Protestant communities. The immediate aftermath of the massacre saw France plunged into deeper chaos. Huguenot leaders who survived went into hiding or fled the country. Henry of Navarre, though spared due to his marriage to Marguerite, was forced to convert to Catholicism under threat of death. Internationally, the massacre sent shockwaves through Europe. Protestant nations were horrified and condemned the violence, while Catholic powers like Spain saw it as a victory. The event strained diplomatic relations and intensified the ongoing religious wars. Catherine de' Medici, despite her initial success in consolidating power, faced growing opposition and mistrust. Her role in the massacre stained her legacy, earning her a reputation as a Machiavellian figure willing to resort to any means to maintain control. Many historians believe that the massacre was part of a larger European Catholic conspiracy, orchestrated with the support of Spain and the Vatican to eradicate Protestantism in France. Letters and communications from the period indicate that Catholic leaders outside France were aware of and supported the violent crackdown on Huguenots. For Catherine de' Medici, the massacre was both a triumph and a curse. While she managed to eliminate many of her political adversaries, 
she also cemented her legacy as a ruthless and manipulative ruler. Her actions during this period continue to be scrutinized and debated by historians. The story of the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre is a sobering reminder of the dangers of fanaticism and the human capacity for cruelty when driven by fear and hatred. And as we reflect on this episode, we must remember the lessons it teaches us about the importance of tolerance, dialogue, and understanding. The massacre serves as a cautionary tale, urging us to strive for a world where differences are celebrated rather than condemned, and where peace and coexistence prevail over violence and division. Thank you for joining us on this journey through one of history's most harrowing events. Subscribe to our channel for more stories that illuminate the past and inspire the future.